Hi, welcome to Blick Economics. So now I'm going to go into the introduction of how to progress in the yin. So this is your welfare, your stars, and your trophy. You get welfare from this tavern. As you can see, my welfare has increased. Stars, you get it by attempting questions, which you can click here and then answering these questions. And trophy is when you go to multiple player and destroy or construct someone else's place. We shall talk about it in a further lectures slash like how to videos. Okay. So you notice how I put the tree around this house summary is because the tree provides welfare which is the if which the more you put around it the better it contributes because you can only contribute hundred each building so it will not diminish even if you put more building hmm. okay so now I'm going to collect my welfare first hmm. alright so now this is my hero then which is the one that allowed me to assess other players okay so now I'm going to do is upgrade my buildings so here is the tavern of level 1 so I want to build tavern level 2 so I'm going to go to the shop click an agent and I'll add the agent here to, to make him a producer and then I'm going to look at the requirement of tavern level 2 you require me to have 2 apples and 6 stone so 2 apples here click on this thing and I'll reduce apple and produce only stone the main concept is if each agent specialize in what they do then you have the maximum items that you can have it's, you also need to follow the low hanging principle where you assign the agent who is best specialized in producing an item first followed by the next best guy to do it so I'm going to confirm my changes and you can see there's an increase in the apple tree uh, stones that I have so now you can see that the welfare here is 75 what does welfare really mean? welfare is the um, the next requirement um, for your producer because each producer will take up certain welfare which is 100 okay so here is 75, here is 75, here is 275 if I add one more producer to one of these building then it will collapse and derelict which I need to strike off every single one of my producer so I'm going to add a, a producer here and then I'm going to start building my level 1 tavern always build one tavern at a time if you're worried that it might go, on, it might go wrong Okay, that's about it, and I'm gonna continue build it, making it to level two. So I'll produce two apples, and here I'll produce more stone. Okay, so just now just two players inside, which is Mary Sola and Crystal. So it's still manageable. But once I start building more of it, then it becomes more complicated. 
See, my welfare will decrease to 50. Okay. So, tavern level 2. I'm not quite sure who should I assign the task to. But it's alright. I'll let Excel do the job. So, the first person is Rosaber. Not even sure how to pronounce that. Hmm. So, Burr. And I'll put in the opportunity cost, which is 4 and 2. So, 2, 1 ratio. The next person is Crystal. And he has the ratio of 4 to 1. And then Mary Sola. Mary Sola. Yep. Nine. Nine. Three. Okay. So I'm going to click data and I'll have this sorting to help me sort it out. But first off, let me add something else. Insert. Um, hmm, hmm. I'll put here apple stone. So now I'm going to click sort and sort by apple. Okay? Smallest to the largest. Alright. So now it helped me sort it out already. Or you can, I prefer actually if I can make it larger to smaller. I think it's easier. Sorry, this is 3 to 1. You want to make sure that over here is all 1, so when you sort it out, it's, you can see it clearly. You know, it'd be quite complicated because the ratio is hard to see. So now I'm going to sort it out again. Alright, so you can see the Russell Bell takes less time to produce apple. So Russell Bell need to produce apple first. So now I really have four apples, I still need another two. So I'll let someone to produce it, which is Mary Sola, because she has the next best opportunity cost. Okay, she's producing that too. Uh oh. Apparently, I don't have enough welfare to hire another individual because you can see I really maxed out everything. Of so I have to go for another approach, which is to start off with this again. Here, I'm going to make it to level 3 by hiring another agent. Yeah. Mm. Same concept apply. I'll have Cory here. is 4, 1 Bro Derek three, wait, 3, 1 Possible. Two one.
So I'll use the sorting algorithm again. Sorry. Hmm. Possible should put this an apple first. And she already maxed out. So flow by bordering. Eh, which he doesn't need to. So you can just focus on producing stone. Cory can produce stone too. Now I will have a level 3 tavern. So that's how you do it. This level 2. Hmm. So now I'm gonna go on with this because these two I can't add another agent. So I'm gonna try to make this level 3 also. I'm gonna hire one more people. Click. And then I'm gonna add one more here. So same thing applies, which is to jot it down. Anton. Anton. The ratio is 2 to 1. Yang. 4 to 1. And Renaldo. I'm so sorry that my pronunciation is quite bad. Okay, so we go back to Anton and Yang, so we need to cover everybody. Now, I'm going to sort it out again. Sort out Apple, small as the largest. So it's tell me that Anton should produce Apple because he has a low opportunity cost. Or rather it's more efficient because he only need two hours to produce an apple, while Renato need to three hours to produce an apple. So Anton you produce your apple first. So now we have four apples. So someone need to produce apple. Which Renato can do it. But Renaldo doesn't need to because we only need four. So you can just focus on building stone. Always start off with building the apple first, have then only the stone. So you start off exhausting all the resources to produce apple, then stone. It's a more systematic way to approach it, so you will mistake you will make mistake in the process. Now you can build a level 3 tavern. So notice that now your ta this has increased because the tavern actually boosts the welfare. And you just have to keep repeating this process until you get all of it. And just keep building this first to increase the welfare. Because in case like some bad things happen and need to rebuild everything, you need to have a lot of cash to do that. So try not to hire too many producers at one go, just do it one at a time, play it safe. Thank you.